<clears throat> All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm an overall really big fan of the original Odin by Bogan. Dual 21700 DNA 250C. Huge, solid, beefy construction, plenty of power. Ever since this Asgard Mini arrived, this is the setup that I've been using like crazy. Well, now what we have is the Odin Mini. Yeah, and as the name suggests, it's a mini version of the full-size Odin. In order to get to know this device just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close, as we often do, quick, short, upy, closey time. Yeah, boosh. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, let's spend a little bit of up close personal time with this Bogan Odin Mini, and bro, it is mini. This is smaller than I thought it would be, and it's incredibly comfortable, in incredibly ergonomic. It's just going to be comfortable in your hand. It's kind of this squared off teardrop shape. Boom. Trap door on the bottom here. Honking. 21700 on the inside. I've had no issues with anything. No issues with that door. No issues with the buttons. No issues with nothing. Let me take this tank off of here. I'll show you. There's a spring-loaded 510 and you actually, for being a mini mod, you have a lot of room up here. This is a 24 millimeter atomizer and pff, dude, you got room to spare on there. Probably go 25 millimeter, 26 millimeter, probably at the most. Even that button right there has like the Bogan skull on it. But one thing I love is when the DNA C series come pre-customized. This came from Vapors Cloud. One, two, three, four, five is gonna unlock it. You got the big Bowden, Bogan like skull and cross mods right there. And when you hit fire, it just says, let her rip! Resistance, battery life, battery percentage, wattage. It's the DNA, so I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but it's a spectacular board. I'm a huge fan of it. Really nice, consistent power. Measure our resistance again? Sure, let's measure the resistance. Yeah, 0.15, that's fine. The wattage of the beast. Even placing it right next to the full size, the full size just looks like a Goliath next to it, but it still keeps basically the exact same stylings, you know? It's got these sort of of in vent air vents I was gonna say inlets that's not a thing it's got these vents cut into the side it's got this a similar type of door same buttons same clicky button same sort of stylings overall now let's try to put this Asgard mini on the on the Odin mini see now we're getting crazy oh yeah Holy crap, completely fits on there perfectly. No big deal. Not even any overhang, even with that beauty ring on there. So yeah, this can fit a pretty solid sized atomizer on top. That's really nice. Whoops, yeah, sure. Let's just take a few rips in between while we're filming shooting. That's fine, that's fine. So yeah, there's really, truly, and honestly, not a whole lot to see down here. What we're gonna do, let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this thing. Let's let her rip. Basically, since it arrived, this Blotto Mini, which I did a build stream for a few weeks ago, I'll have a link down in the description, but this Blotto Mini and this Odin Mini have just been inseparable. Just a really great little combination. The Odin Mini is so incredibly ergonomic, it's silly. I'm a person that likes to hold the mod in my hand like this, hit the fire button with my finger. The Odin Mini is really conducive to that. Alternatively, you can always kind of do that, what I call the badminton racket technique, where you hold it like this and you just kind of have your thumb just kind of going up the spine, hit the button, it's awesome. On a single 21700 DNA 75C, no issues, no performance issues, gives me plenty of power. As you saw in the up close, you got a lot of room to dance around up here on this 510. It's, it's a big area. This is a 24 millimeter RTA. I put that Asgard Mini, even with the beauty ring on here, not even a little bit of overhang. So just because the, you know, just because the name Mini is in the title, don't think that it's some small, tiny little platform. You can kind of put whatever you want on here 
short of like a 30 millimeter atom atomizer and you won't have any overhang. I mean, it's great. Clicky buttons, DNA 75C, single 21700. I honestly can't think of much else to say about this. It's literally a mini version of the original Odin, which if you like the original Odin and you're a fan of Bogan, that this might be worth checking out for you. Construction on it is real nice, real nice fit and finish. I haven't had no issues with this little floppy door. It snaps in, clicks in real nice with authority. If I did have a gripe with it, which I kind of do, it would be in the vape budget hands land. So let's do vape budget hands real quick. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Odin Mini? I mean, yeah, kinda. So the original, the full size, the dual 21700 Odin was about 180 to 185 bucks. Now, for something that's essentially half of this, you're getting much less power, you're getting much less battery life, the Mini is still clocking in at about $150, which, look, it's nice. It's, it's really nice, top to bottom, like I said, nice construction, nice fit and finish, real ergonomic, real nice. I feel like $150 is a little bit high, personally, of an asking price for this. I think the Odin Mini should have been maybe right around 100 bucks maybe 100, 110 bucks at the most. Now, look, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape, is the Odin Mini something I would seek out and buy right away? Ugh, look, here's the thing. I, I don't know, it's great and I love it and I really like using it. I love how ergonomic it is. It's just a great little single 21700 banger. But with those vape budget hands, ah, Ah, I personally feel like $150 for a single 21700 DNA 75C. I mean, it's the DNA 75C, which is an expensive board anyway. I don't know. I just feel like it might be for a single 21700 just a little bit out of my price range. Although with, I mean, with as much as I've used this setup and I have used this like crazy and I'm gonna continue to use it like crazy, it might be something, damn it, that I just have to save up for and bite the bullet and spend the 150 to get. Anyway, that's uh, that's really all I got for today, everybody. Just a quick little video for the Bogan Odin Mini coming from Dovpo. It's real great, coming really highly recommended. Just, you know, keep your vape budget hands in check. Links are not allowed in the description at all anymore because of YouTube, so you're gonna have to get out there and use your Google Foo, but thank you guys seriously so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still at least 95% less harmful than deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, absolutely, let's keep on vaping. Asgard Mini on there, and it's a 25 millimeter atomizer. <laughs>